that's how it goes. But now I know, said a little while back, I won't be doing as much reviews, yada, yada, yada. But, you know, that's just, that was just crazy talk. <laughs> we all know that. But anyway, so as you can see in front of us, we have the Tanistrophus. And I believe I'm saying the name right if I'm not. Oh, well. But I was very surprised to find this guy. I actually went to a store called Second and Charles today to actually look for these. I only found this one, but I'll get back to that in a second. But also they had a uh, deal on movies, buy two, get two free, which I technically got six because I got the Men in Black trilogy and the fourth one. I have not seen the fourth one. And a couple movies for friends and family. So anyways, I thought it was a good deal. Like I said, I was trying to find these guys, uh, the uh, blind bag keychains. I saw them a couple weeks ago. I'm like, you know what? I'll wait, yada, yada, yada. And I'm like, you know what? Heck yeah, I'll go up there today and buy and see if I can find them. And I had it for $6.99, which isn't, I guess, not a bad price. But, like I said, I only found this one, and it was actually the very last one I found. Um, I went back around the store, and usually if I can't find nothing, I'll do like three or four laps around the store before I leave, just, just in case I look in weird places to see if I can find any of this stuff. And I did. I found this, I, funny enough, in another keychain blind bag uh, display box for My Little Pony. I'm like, well, odd choice, but hey, at least I found one. Um, my goal, honestly, is to look for the Triceratops and the T-Rex. I mean, honestly, I would love to get anything else in here. I know there's these and two exclusive figures, which are Ellie and Grant. It's not that hard to figure out who they are. But, uh, I mean, I was, honestly, if I get anything in here, I'm cool with it. It's still Jurassic. I like the packaging. It's got the fossil bones, like 25th anniversary edition, the classic Jurassic Park logo, which is sweet. Um... Like, yeah, so I don't know who I'm going to get, but I'll open that in just a second. But also, as you can see, I have Tanistrophus now. I'm in debates in my head if I want to open this or not. Technically, it's really not that difficult if I just snap these off and boom and whatnot. Um, so, but it's it's my thing. It's whatnot. It's, you know, it's my collection, my my, my figure. Um, but I will get back to this in a second. Let's open up this and see what the heck I got. Now, I'm going to do this live on camera. I don't think I'm cheating. Oh no, he's so he's blah, blah. I'm gonna cut towards the bottom here. So I don't, so I don't ruin the, uh, the back. See. Oh, let me cut a little more around the seal. That would help. Let's see who the heck we have. Oh no! Oh, come on, come on. There we go. Heck yeah. Yep. Oh, 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 no way. Heck yeah. <laughs> we got. Injured Sexy Ian Malcolm. <laughs> Alright, I'm not mad about that. That's really cool. Um, does he sit kind of? I mean, he might be a little top heavy because his noggin's kind of big, but no, he doesn't sit very well. But I can't lean him, lean him up against something, but that's that's cool. I don't have many Ian figures. I have a, 95, uh, I have a 93 Series 2. I have the Legacy one, and I believe I have a Funko of him somewhere. No, I don't have an Ian Funko. I thought I did, but no. So I don't have much Ian stuff, so this is kind of, this is cool. As you can see, they're, the secrecy is held together by this amazing white cardboard, so you can't figure out what it is. But, yep, that was the only one I found. Not bad. Okay, I got Ian. Sweet. Not too bad. But like I said, my goal is the T-Rex and the Triceratops, and it's really funny, Triceratops, you can't see what uh, what's next to it. Right there. Yeah, I thought it was a little funny, a little uh, Easter egg. But, uh, okay, so, cool, got any Malcolm. Let's put him to the side and, uh, take a look at this guy. Okay, so, unfortunately, I do not own the actual original 90s Tannistrophus figures. I know there's a couple, I believe there's, I think, two or three variants with paint variants. It's like the one that came out on the Chaos line and whatnot. I don't have them. I'll throw a picture up here so you guys can see the different versions that I find online. Um, I know a buddy of mine actually has one. But he modified it to be a um, kaiju. I can't think of the name. It's it's something from Godzilla. Um, but my buddy had one of those and sl sort of slightly modified it to be one of those. Um, so I'm kind of bummed. So I have seen one in person. I just never own one. Um, and this guy I was really surprised I found because I wasn't even looking for him. Which was, I mean, I was and I wasn't. But today I just legit went there just to find the keychains and the uh, movie sales that they had. But anyway, so like I said, I found this guy randomly and luckily. It was him, and he was next to a Kentrosaur, which I don't have yet, but I'll eventually get one. Um, a Allosaurus, which I believe that's the one I had. Uh, again, I still need to do a video on those guys. I'm so sorry. I'm slacking the Allosaur video. Uh, and I believe one uh, Monophosaurus, which I was in a snag. It looked cool. It was like that green, uh, sort of like Jungle Explorer type thing with like the red on, on the top of the head. But I'm like, eh. 
I I'm okay. I'm trying to get the odd odd ones. I know one off source is odd, but like I'm trying to get like the odd ones like these. I love this. Um, the other odd one I always wanted was the Scudosaurus, which I never had the original, uh, just like this. And also the new one that came out, I could not find anywhere to save my life. And I'm not paying eBay prices. That's ridiculous. So hopefully maybe the Scudosaurus, hopefully maybe he will pop up at a thrift store or flea market, or maybe somebody has an extra one I can do a trade on or buy off them for a decent price. But other than that, eh, but like I said, I was in debates the whole time coming home from the store if I'm going to open this guy or not. But you know what? I'm going to open him to show you guys what he does. So obviously you see the packaging first. It's got the, it's the uh, Fierce Force Tanistrophus Dino, Dino Escape line. I like the blue he is. Like he's really cool looking. The head kind of kind of looks like um Ramphorhynchus a little bit. Just a little bit. Just the way the teeth are. A little jagged crocodile type teeth. Uh, all this and stuff on the bottom. Blah, 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 blah. Um, yeah, the head just shows you the action feature. And this, oh yeah, there he is. There's a Monoplosaurus. I was thinking about snagging, but I decided not to. But now I kind of regret it, but it'll be all right. And I think they had this for $11.99. Yeah, they did. So, which, okay, not bad. I It's definitely cheaper, than, a heck of a lot cheaper than I thought it was going to be. But nothing really special on the sides. Uh, do the action feature. Yep, he just takes a drink of water. Or he whips you. It doesn't matter. And why not? So let me, let me open this guy. Again, live on camera, so you know I'm not, I'm not. Lying to you that I don't have two. I can't afford two if I wanted to. Oh, come on. Hold on. Oh, sorry. Taking it off camera. Can't get the rubber band to snap for some reason. I want to ruin the plastic here. There we go. See? Empty. <laughs> okay, all right. That looks really sweet. Let's take a look, closer look at this guy. Right, Starting off with the head here. Like I said, it's very like a Lasmosaur, Plesiosaur type long neck head with the like Ramphorhynchus kind of type. Uh, bite to it. Okay, look at the jaw on the inside. Oops, there we go. Oh, sorry, I'm using my phone so my camera's on this side and I'm used to my other camera. But anyways, I can nice paint work. Um, it's funny because like the mouth on the inside is painted pink and then the blue, it's like it's like cotton candy. It's a weird spot on his tongue. Maybe, maybe from where the mold was at, but I bet it looks like he's got other little teeth inside or, you know, something like that right there. Yeah, looks like those are sculpted but not painted. Whoa, focus. Whoa, calm down. So it's up top, but honestly, I think it looks cool either way. I maybe if I want to, I'll go back and paint those teeth. I got this nice fierce yellow eye, bendy neck, uh, not as bendy as I thought it was gonna be. It's just it's kind of rubber. It's got some gibbs. Um, you can turn the head all the way around, which is nice. I believe. Oh yeah, there's a oh cool. Okay, so there's a ball joint. There's a swivel, which is nice. You can be looking back like, hmm, what? what's going on? Hmm, what? So yeah, there we go. We'll go down here. I don't know if this turns. Oh, it does too. Okay. Okay. There's. Another. It's not. It doesn't have much give. Um, but yeah, you can put it in like weird poses like this. Like he's sneaking around. Um, I see the neck where the action feature meets. You pull down the tail. But heck yeah, I like. I love the blue. I really like here. Let's let's take a look at the skin pattern. Heck yeah, I like the blue and the off white on it. it looks really. Actually, it looks really tribal. If you kind of look at it, it kind of looks like a. Dinosaurus a little bit right there to me. I don't know. I you know kind of like a like a Rorschach test type deal. Um, skin patterns. It's I I think it's it feels similar to the Dimetrodon, the the uh, first Mattel Dimetrodon. It's got like little pebble textures to them. Um, oh oh, there's your foot scan right there. Come on, focus. Okay, maybe if you, there you go. Okay, if you want to scan that, go for it. Hold it for a few seconds. And you're lost. Okay, all right. You didn't want to focus. <laughs> it's got the a typical stamp on the bottom of the foot. But again, not bad. The arms, they, they kind of go up. Not that far. Well, about that far. And they kind of... Oh, a little tough, too. A little kind of, they kind of spread out. Kind of like that. I'm not sure how the heck that's going to work. But it'll be alright. It's durable. It's very durable. I'll get the head all kind of funny. Um, back legs, they don't they don't pop out. They just kind of... Yeah, they just kind of move. So they don't have a swivel other than, like, go... They can go... Mm, about that far around, not a big deal. The tail doesn't move at all, obviously, besides the action feature. Under the belly, same type thing. It has like this really, I don't know if you guys ever held a gecko or any kind of lizard or whatnot before, but yeah, it has that very gecko lizard type feel in the belly. It almost feels like this could be breathing, like this, this could be like, you know, if it was real alive, um, whatnot. I love the detail, you can see all like its ribs, its muscles, and whatnot. Like, I feel like this thing could really be alive, but um, the only thing I kind of find kind of odd is like I know the skin pattern is kind of cool. I like where it stops. Like, it's not awkward. Like, I like how it's solid blue, so it's not really awkward where it stops right there. I'm like, unlike most 
dinosaurs in Mattel line where it just stops here and not to the tail, or maybe it doesn't finish the tail. Um, but it's kind of odd that it's just like the stark white, or not stark white, like it's off white all the way up here, then it breaks off to the neck. I figured, I feel like it would be if it was like this pattern all the way through, that'd be really cool. Same with the same with the the spines right here, the little um, scoots, the little I'm I'm just gonna say spikes, little spines right there. So, but overall, I think that's really nice. It's not bad. Um, I'll pull out a couple things for a size comparison, uh, so you can see how big this thing is. Figured why not, since I compared it to the uh, Elasmosaur Plesiosaur. I can't pull out my Plesiosaur here. This is the Battle Damage one from Walmart, which I found at another store called Five Below, which is interesting. Again, another little guy I didn't realize I uh, was ever going to find until a couple years later, which is nice. So there's a size comparison to that. And right behind it, as you can tell, the Pentaceratops, which is just one of my favorite, absolute, absolute favorite figures. This thing's a beast. Like, you see the size of my hand? This thing is a beast. It's like the size of a small kitten, you know? So, again, yeah, there's the size comparisons. I'm trying to get this guy to stand properly. I got the feet all kind of funny. Maybe he doesn't want to stand properly. Who knows? Oh, there we go. Okay, I just had the back leg. Funny, but, yeah, okay, there's there's a size comparison to those um, those other two. So, um, let me uh, do a quick little cleanup, and I'll put the two products back on the table. Do my final thoughts. Okay, and... Here are my two items I got today. Cool, a couple Jurassic Park finds. I did find another find. It wasn't Jurassic Park-ish, but it's very close related. It's called. The, it's a board game called Dinosaur Island. And if you, I'll show you the picture right here. It looks really sweet. It looks very 90s-ish. I like the uh, pink logo of the Triceratops skeleton. It looks really sick. I want to get that game. Um, uh, I found. I was able to find the price online for a lot cheaper than it was at the store. I might eventually get it. I don't know yet. Uh, We'll see what happens, but I would like to get the game and play because I haven't played much board games other than the ones I have, and I have a handful, and you guys have seen all the Jurassic Park board games I have, but I have other non-Jurassic board games as well, but that looked really cool. I liked it. It felt hefty when I picked up the box, but anyway, so these are the two items I found today. I'm really happy. I didn't expect to find this guy, so that's that's a nice surprise. I'm really ec ecstatic that I got this. Um, still looking for Scootosaurus. Anybody sees one, let me know. Not not a big deal. Pardon me. Sorry, a little bit of a little gassy back here. Whew, my bad, my... Uh, I didn't want to burp on camera. <laughs> Anyways, and then I have, you know, uh, Injured Sexy Malcolm, which is interesting, the way he's displayed one that. It's got the little nice little uh, uh, tourniquet right there that he made. Uh, got a little blood and whatnot, blood on his hand, which I'm not sure where that was from. Maybe from the, maybe from the, uh, the uh, flare and whatnot. But yeah, so uh, there you go. Got a Dr. Dr. Malcolm right there with the tennis So... These are my two items. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and hopefully you guys will find your own stuff. Hope you guys can find him as well. If you haven't, I apologize. He seems to be very difficult to find. Again, it was random I found him, but hope you guys come across him out in the wild. So y'all take care and be excellent to each other.